In Tunisia, the birthplace of the Arab Spring, new protests erupted earlier this year. They come seven years after the uprisings that swept across the region and are among the many signs of persistent youth frustration. Young people are demanding better jobs and wages, some of the same demands that brought down governments from Tunis to Sana'a not so long ago. But today, the region's unemployment rates have only grown higher due to a range of factors from political instability to poor economic growth. This has hit Arab youth especially hard. The unemployment rate among youth aged 15 to 25 in the MENA region is 30%. That's the highest youth jobless rate in the world, far above the global average. For women, it's as high as 45%. Arab economies have been slow to recover after nearly a decade of economic turbulence and unable to keep up with booming population growth. They are facing a youth bulge stemming from the region's high birth rate. Today, about 60% of the population is under the age of 30. The IMF estimates the region will need to create 25 million jobs in the next five years, and that's just to keep the high unemployment levels from getting even higher. Economic growth of 6 to 7% is necessary to accommodate new job seekers entering the labor market. For governments struggling to stabilize and reform their economies, that's a pretty daunting figure. And with high growth rates looking unlikely in the near future, unemployed youth remain easy targets for recruitment by jihadist groups like ISIS and Al-Qaeda. Until Arab governments better address the socio-economic obstacles to job growth, youth-driven protests look likely to continue.